what was that like for the whole year to be in this like with this tension with your family what was that like for you unbearable it was hard it was just you know i'd call my mom you know maybe two times a week and it would just be a tense conversation you know yeah. and and it's not fun nobody wants to be like that and not at all. wants to communicate under those conditions and mm-hmm. you know i was working as an intern at the time and it was hard to work you know i couldn't always think straight and mm-hmm. you know, i had a group of coworkers, some of whom i still keep in touch with even from back then mm-hmm. um or and like they were just telling me they they had a pep talk with me mm-hmm. they're like you, you you need to uh you, you need to soldier up and really decide what you want and commit to it and you know we got your back all the way you know um so that was helpful having you know supportive friends i think really yeah. helped make a difference um and my mom too and her she, mom, would, she would talk yeah. to us and she would talk to Shay and you know tell him what to do and it was tough for all of us i mean you know, for the friends, to my friends were worried that because they've seen relationships like that before, you know, with multi- interracial dating, especially with Indian or with Middle Eastern or just, you know, certain cultural families. Yeah. They're like, they're not going to use you, you know, so you need to move on. Like a few friends mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that because they, they met him. So they, they knew that he was really trying to work towards marriage, but the people that didn't know him as well, well, you need to make sure you take care of yourself and move on. Don't don't wait, you know, he's, he's not going to do, he's not going to marry you. You what? know, they, they usually who, don't. Who said that? <laughs> There's to always the naysayers. There's <laughs> always that, yeah. Peter, Especially yeah. if they're thinking about the, their own experiences or stereotypes, mm-hmm. they will put that on to you. Yeah. Yeah, so it sounds like you had no naysayers. Is that true, Shay? Compared to Teresa, she had, you know, some naysayers. All my friends that met her loved her so um you know yeah mine too like a lot of those people that yeah that i'm talking about weren't friends or more acquaintances and people that yeah. i used to work with. Usually, like you said yeah, they no. were, they, I mean like my closest friends were already in relationships they were already either on their road to marriage or i think i don't know darling was married yet at the time she was oh five oh yeah she, so, was, she was already married but but you know they they knew and they just kept hoping that things will work out, you know, mm-hmm. they were very supportive and yeah. 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 All right. So once uh, you, after you had that phone call with her, what was <laughs> the conversation with Shay about that phone call and Shay's reaction? God. Gosh, you know, I mean, I don't even remember his reaction. I was, was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I couldn't believe she did that without even telling me first. Yeah, how did she well, get her number? Did she... I did, you know, when we had like the phone bills, like the the phone bills. Of, and so he he was calling from their their home oh, phone. Oh, yes. That's when you would get it in the mail. Killer. Wow, <laughs> she was investigating. Like, who all this these numbers I see like? You know, several times she a day. She was connecting the dots. So she's like, yes, oh, that she must- was. Yeah, she was. I've got some detectives. Uh, <laughs> hey, I got it. She has some, some skills for the, you know, investigating. But man, just just block it. She was just just salty. Yeah. It's like oh. I'm gonna give it a chance. It's like, yeah. And honestly, Keisha, I mean. It's it's it sounds funny, but of of all the ethnic groups I've dealt with my whole life, mm-hmm. I've had the toughest time with Indians. Really? <laughs> yeah. Tell me why? 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 <laughs> you mean um, now or just when they see uh, with Teresa I mean, or your family? Like when? I'm talking, like dating back to school. Really. Um, you know, it, it's very status oriented. Mm. You know, what 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 neighborhood you live in? What kind of car your your mommy and daddy drive? Where do they work? Where are you going to school? What's your GPA? It's wow, just what's your GPA? Wow. Right. 
<laughs> it's like the, the size up don't stop. It, it was very hyper competitive. And that's just not me. I, I don't uh, roll like that. Back in school, um, I, I always hung out with the black kids. And um, like I, I found my home with them. You know, we and go. We it was just, come in. <laughs> it was like, right. Good times, good music, right? You know, good laughs, mm -hmm. and that's what it should be about. Yeah, good spirits, you know. Yeah, right. right. So it was just, it's, it's just maybe that dynamic influenced my choices later in life. I, awesome. Who knows? But mm -hmm. you know, here we are, and. It works. It's doing good. It's wonderful. It's it's always nice to hear like organically how you know relationships happen, but especially when it's two worlds and you know one that's very you know often thought to just be very enclosed. Yeah. And not about like exposing or being open to other cultures. So it's it's nice to hear that. As and you you know often we hear the story that oh yeah. Any men? No, they don't. They don't want black women or anything like that. Well, Let me tell you, you're <laughs> this kind of very. Um, in regards to like the stereotypes of how black women are thought to not be feminine enough, or marriage material, or they're too aggressive, or you know, hard to approach. So, what would you say to all of that, anyway, Shay? hogwash that that's just complete and total whale dung uh that's big <laughs> it's epic it's it's the biggest lie um told at your expense unfortunately say um, that again it is definitely at our expense It's like, it, it, I, like in my, you've seen our, our culture, you know. It, it, in case you haven't noticed, what's their mentality? White is right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The irony of that too. It's yeah. Mental colonization. Mm -hmm. it's, colonization ended legally, but mentally, mm -hmm. still it's, there. It's still there. And, and a lot of times they look foolish at the end. And it's like, I, I just wasn't like that, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I like everybody, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I got friends of all different uh, mm -hmm. cultures. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess, I, I guess I'm just different, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not out chasing chasing the white girls, or uh, you know, or, or you know, Indian girls and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it's uh, how can I say it? I, I I just followed my heart at the end of the day, mm -hmm. and I think if you really follow your heart, you'll you'll do okay. For sure. Um, I think, you know, like we said, yeah. they, they do a lot of um, traditional things. And, you know, I had to adapt to wearing saris and which I love. Mm -hmm. um, and they also gave me a name, which at first I, I resisted. And I'm like, um, well, I already have a name. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah, please explain <laughs> to me what? Yeah, I was like, huh? They're She's like, well, no, this is just a name that we're going to give you for our family. And, but really, it was for their Indian friends. Like, I think his mom just had a really hard time not accepting the fact going that she's outside who her I bubble. Am, you know. Yeah, going outside her bubble, her comfort. Yeah. yeah. So make sure that I had or she has some kind of control over she go, okay, if I'm gonna accept you, you're still gonna 
wear our clothes. You're going to adapt to us. You are a Banerjee and you're going to do this and that. So they gave me okay. and, and she goes, you know, I think you'll like it because it sounds a lot like Sade. And I said, well, it's, it's nice, but, <laughs> but, but I <laughs> And I said, I'm not going to change it. Of course, she knows who Sade is, but I know she's from London. So, <laughs> right. So, that is awesome. So, anyway, so she she calls me, you know, Sharda around the family. And I'm pretty much around everybody. She calls me Sharda, but my father in law and sister in law are limited to the family. Like, he knows when to turn it on and turn it off. She just mm -hmm. says it. But, you know, at first I was, I was really offended by it. But then I'm like, well, you know what? If this is her culture, her tradition, that's fine. And she tries to say, because my mom calls him Shay Shay. It is the nickname she gives him. So then she's like, well, kind of making the smuggest the same. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> right, the one up. Uh-huh, the one up, yep. <laughs> if, if you can do it, I can do it better. <laughs> right. I think exactly. for me, definitely that. Like, it's a lot of things that we have to do. But, you know, we, we, we set a lot of boundaries, too. But like, look, there's just some things we're not going to do. Because if you, there's so many things traditionally that you can do, you know, as far as the rituals and the pujas and everything. And so if you do everything, you'll go crazy. So I'm like, look, we'll commit to certain things, but not, not all. Mm -hmm. And it's good for you. Yeah. He's not really, uh, um, you know, in their, in their ideology, like he, he believes in God, but he doesn't really believe in, right? Like they're not... Yeah, there's there are different branches of it, but he's he's not it's, necessarily into whatever they you know they practice, I should say. So okay. so I don't and what I'm supposed to do because he doesn't tell me what we're supposed to do. So you know, and I'm. <laughs> and they I know that, that feeling. You go somewhere today, you're like, what's happening? What I don't what? Why don't you know? Now I'm gonna look like a fool. <laughs> yes. So, but you know, but the things I try. And like my sister-in-law explained to me a few things like who Vishnu is and that, where Krishna came from. So I think it helped. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they understand that I'm Christian and that, you know, um, I love Jesus. They, they know that and they respect that. And so I think, I think for her, as long as we're praying to a higher being, God, I think at this point, she's, just, she's happy with us doing something. And so, um, but for me, yeah, it, it took a lot of, adapting and you know getting used to the the culture and you know the friends calling them aunties which is totally yeah, yeah. fine which is totally yeah, yeah. fine my mom's friends and stuff i call them aunt mm -hmm. um but you know just the, the food and everybody got the food i love the food but i can't really cook indian food like i'd like to because you know i'm not time. <laughs> it's so, very time consuming oh gosh yeah, yeah. so we're a little more so on my end i mean on his end nothing really i mean yeah, it was okay yeah it was... you don't like certain holidays or certain <laughs> what <laughs> tell us what holidays you don't like yeah what holidays don't you... <laughs> i don't uh i think mean, he, I mean, he no i wouldn't say he doesn't like him i think he just gets yeah, because me and my mom cook up a storm at certain times, and he knows it's kind of time consuming and tiring. And so I think he's just like, why you got to do all this stuff, you know, and it's a holiday and let's chill out and go out to eat or something. Why you got to cook up all this food? And I'm like, that's just what we do. <laughs> you know, we you know, gather and eat, you know, so. You're benefiting from it, right? You like the food? <laughs> oh, he eats it. <laughs> yeah. I... But that's, that's what my... he cares about you not doing too much. That's <laughs> She, she tried, she, I think she tried to test boundaries during the wedding. You know, she's like, because I we had the wedding. The um, Hindu wedding first and the Christian ceremony later. Yeah. And you're you're going to change out of your um, wedding dress and put back on your sari. And I'm like, no. What? Like, All night. I wore the sari for three hours. The rest of the day is for me to wear my wedding dress. And she understood. So I think. I mean, setting boundaries ahead of time. I think she Good got that. You. Yes. I'll wear the saris when we have to. And if I want to, but I'm not going to wear it because you, you say I have to wear it. So, yeah. 
you know, like there's some things that it is a lot to do. I don't do everything. And she respects that. Like she pushed us a lot in the beginning to do every ritual, every this, every that, because she's it, all good intentions, you know, but I had to just, we, we just can't she'd ease up on it. Yeah. And it's, yeah, you're like trying to slowly get a person just come to realization of things. And that takes time, right? It takes time to speed them up. Like, hey, we're here. But yeah, that's a long walk for some people. So, right. Well, even the Indian girls were like, for them, they said it was hard. They're like, I don't know how you do it. You come to every event, you were all the stars. They're like, oh, we commend you because you're not even Indian and you're doing all this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I have these final questions related to your parenting. This is fun. I really hope. Yeah, you're enjoying this because it's it's nice talking to you. Um, so yeah, related to parenting, my daughter came up with these questions. So we have these final questions on parenting that was written by our daughter, son, Saray. And her first question is, how do you raise your kids? <laughs> Just good. That's the question. <laughs> Big question. It is huge. Yeah. Um, so we, we, we try to raise them just to be good people. Um, and, you know, I, I don't really want to say that they're tied to any religion because, you know, I'm Christian, non-denominational. He's, he grew up Hindu, but I mean, I don't know if, if that's something that he's going to forever claim, but spiritual, you know, I, I, I want them to know a higher being and I don't want to tie them down to just, okay, you must be Christian. You must be, you know, so, um, we're open, you know, I mean, I, I think as long as they're good people, they're good people in society and they're loving and kind, you know, that's all that we really care about. Um, we do introduce them to both cultures. You know, they know a lot about, um, you know, the Indian culture, but you know, Bengali, they have a lot of Bengali functions in San Diego. Well, pre, pre COVID, now they're, of course, everything's shut down. But um, so we try to go to at least something a few times a year. They have um, uh, Diwali, they have things at Bobo Park, you know, that we take them to all the time. Holy. And Holy. So there's a lot of things that we, you know, do for both the kids. Um, and then for me, you know, I used to take her to church every Sunday and, not anymore, of course, it's COVID, but, um, and she's about my mom, you know, my, my mom's remarried. And so they're both heavily into, you know, Christianity and, you know, being Baptist and stuff. So, and my mom teaches her a lot about African-American culture too. So I think it's a pretty fair amount that they get on both sides. Um, my mother-in-law would like to see her, the kids more. They live in Imperial Beach. So that's about 20 minutes away from, from us. Okay. It's the it's the most southwestern city in the continental U.S. Mm -hmm. So if you look at, they're right in the corner. They're like right <laughs> on the, the on most the, southwest yeah. corner of the U.S. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll start looking at them now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a geography nerd. So yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, like here in San Diego, especially pre-COVID, I mean, I'd say almost every culture is represented here. oh yeah and they, and they do so much and you know with the year-round right. weather the oh. here. Uh, i knew yeah. you're gonna throw that in at some point <laughs> <laughs> you know it no it's kidding <laughs> so it's uh and like in san diego county for example it's you know almost three and a half million people so over 51 percent are non-white mm -hmm. The takeover, yes. No. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, it's, <laughs> so it's, you know, it, it's very diverse. Yeah. Here. So mm -hmm. there's really just not a lot of room for racism. Mm. You know, to be honest, it would be a, a racist person's worst nightmare living here, uh, honestly. So I think there's a lot of, yeah, like education and exposure which is, I think, what we're more focused on. Yeah. You know, try, try to be a good citizen of the world. Exactly. Let them, yeah. you know, keep them cultured. We like to travel. You know, we've been taking our daughter since she was 
less than one. And now that the pandemic is kind of slowing down, we're taking our son too. And we let him introduce him to the world, let him see different cultures and things. And while different we're still foods. teaching them our own, but being open-minded about that and not just, I don't want to force anything on them that they don't believe in, you know? So yeah, start in life, I just want them to make sure that they use good judgment and that they think of others and that they respect others. Same, yeah, we, we share a lot of the same sentiments. Next um, question, what do you teach them about their, about black history and Indian history? I think it goes back to, you know, the events and things. I mean, I don't know much about Hinduism other than what my in-laws have taught me. And, um, but I think as long as we're engaging with them and, um, you know, we see them maybe twice a month and my mother-in-law teaches our daughter, um, Bengali, and she teaches her lessons and stuff and she's picking up real fast. So um, as far as me, you know, she knows about Black History Month and, you know, of course our ancestors, what they've done. She knows about my 23andMe test. And, um, but like, I think I, I didn't get hit on that earlier. Like I actually want to learn more about my own culture, you know, just not even from African-American, but just like, you know, Nigerian, like I'm, I'm interested in knowing more about who on my side is and mm -hmm. the others in the family that may celebrate certain traditions. Like I'm, I'm just interested in learning that because I feel like we don't really do enough, you know, as African-Americans and we may, at least in my family, you know, we may get together and barbecue and stuff like that, but, I, but we don't get down to like the root of our culture, you know, like what is our culture? So, yeah. and what are we, and I feel like, you know, I see Indian culture, which is beautiful. I see other cultures but we don't really have that because it was stripped from us so I, I i'm interested in digging more into that route and finding out more about it so it's nice with our kids one day mm -hmm. did you want to add anything Shay? or yeah you know everything Teresa mentioned and i think uh, samaya is naturally very inquisitive she asks a lot of questions and she's um, eight right She's eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The questions are about uh, to get more complex. <laughs> they will. Um, but I try to answer them, you know, the best I can, try to add a lot of historical context. I like history to begin with. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, I watch- Me not so much. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of like History Channel, Nat Geo, Discovery. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm kind of starting to watch a lot of those now. So yeah, she does. Um, so there's a lot of interesting. Anyway, even I still have a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely we do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you want to ask the next question? Um, have you issues. introduced? Oh, huh? Tech issues, Keisha. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> All right. Next question is. Uh, did you introduce your children to other Blindian kids? Well, Only virtually. Yeah, I wish. Um, there's not a whole lot in our neighborhood. No. <laughs> um, there are a few couples we met um, before we got married. Uh, oh, here yeah. In San Diego, older couples mm -hmm. um, who have kids and are already established. Um, and hopefully we'll, we can have like a meetup or something. Yeah, we met a lot of Blindians just over the past year in the pandemic. And, you know, we're already getting close to a lot of people. We call each other sis and stuff and they have kids and just some of them are in LA. So hopefully, you know, we'll, nice. we'll be able to do that. But yeah, we didn't even know that it was such a big community. Um, no idea. No idea. Because I mean, the stuff we go to, I mean, so there's, the Bengali community that we get together with. And I mean, like I said, I'm the only black person that's there. Uh, have you seen any other black people besides mm. me? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> other plenty of kids, no. I mean, just because of where we are. But if we had a chance to, an opportunity to, to blend them, yes, absolutely, we would. And we have credit to this pandemic, actually. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. before living our life on the fast lane, you know, constantly on the go, go, go. And we never had time to actually take, you know, look for other, you know, couples and, yeah. you know, slow down 
I think you brought up the idea, hey, why don't we scour, you know, social media and just see what's out there and mm -hmm. literally just found a whole new planet. Yeah, he, We've he been floating in space for what, 13 years? Yeah. Had no 14. idea, <laughs> you know, was, yeah. yeah. It, so, you know, it, it, like you said, it's fate. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we met you and, you know, several others throughout the country and even parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So cool. the, the growing and then, you know, with Kamala oh, you know, yeah. becoming VP. <laughs> it's get bigger. And, yeah. Yeah. Like it, it's it's about to blow up. I think if she saw the Blindy and kids, she'd be more encouraged because I think sometimes she gets discouraged to go to certain events because she's the only black child that's there and yeah. you know it's hard for her it's hard you know and she doesn't i mean another kid that we know their daughter is half white so they kind of but then if it's just her and then the other she's just like i don't fit in here and not that she's aware of it she's not saying that but you could just see because we've yeah, been probably not have the words but the feeling is there probably yeah so. yeah you just inspired that. You, maybe we can work on that together. A virtual yeah. play day. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh the friend that liked him, that wanted to be his girlfriend. So I was getting it from those individuals, which puts a spin on it, right? So like, yeah. yeah, that whole like so they, they got their own competitiveness. Say that again. They got their own motives. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But he, he didn't see that, right? You didn't see that. No. Did you think I was paranoid?